So little Xanus and the Sodomites were here last night. Today is November 13th, so I'm still being stalked. It's fucking bullshit. November 12th, some little Xanus and the Sodomites. There's three fucking trucks up there, and then he's going to drive real super slow, real super slow, like like how, you know, uh, Xanus did to them kids. That's exactly how he drives. He drives like a little Xanus. And I'm supposed to pretend that this is all good and kosher. The piece of shit that was creeping, you know, up on me, and I ran the motherfuckers out. I most certainly fucking did. And, um... And they were fucking doing the fucking loud ass engine by my house, by my house, by my house, fucking playing stupid games or driving on private land and shit. You, what, okay, stay on the public roads, but what are you doing driving through private fucking lots and shit? After they did that, they came back. And what sucked was I couldn't tell by the way that they were driving if they were cops or if they were fucking goddamn little Xanus and the Sodomites. When people are driving creepily by my fucking house, I'd like to know that they're not some creepy criminal pieces of shit. But since I can't tell, I, I gotta, I need to live in a better world. The My mistake was picking Conejos County and Costilla County. My mistake was uh, adhering to planning and zoning and being nice to people and kind to people. That was my mistake. And being lawful. They can't stand lawful people. They can't stand people that go in and actually pay for their permits. They can't fucking... Soto Cruz hates it when people pay for their permits. They'll murder your fucking dog for fucking paying for your permits and adhering to planning and zoning and being lawful and polite and decent. So I want to... First, let's just talk about what happened. So it's, you know, 6 o'clock and I, I don't even know what hunting season it is. But by my fucking house, I know, I know. That's where all the rabbits are, right by my house. So there's uh, Black Mountain and Black Valley and there's a mile between the two plots. So I go up to the top plot and they're sitting up there. You know, I play like it's not fucking bothering me. But uh, I don't know who you fucking creepy motherfuckers are and I don't like you sons of bitches. I can't get any of my friends out here. So if you keep driving around a person's house in a remote area in the desert and then pretending that you're hunting for lizards, fuck you. I know what you're doing, you piece of shit. It's KKK shit. Little Xanus and the Sodomites have been doing this shit for too fucking long. Not a single cop has stayed by my house to see if this crime's fucking happening. And then if I'm a police officer, I could just go say, hey, what the hell are you doing? But if I go and say, hey, what the hell are you doing? They'll fucking lie. And they're criminals. So they'll just either lie or they'll, you know, take all my things. Shoot me. Pretend they were the ones in danger. I was just driving around this house 200 times. I was just trying to murder his puppies. He didn't have to come and ask me who I was. But why, you know, I'd like to think that they're just criminal fucks who just have, you know, criminal minds and they just get the confidence from fucking the devil himself. But I wonder if they get uh, confidence from Kim Woods and Michael Gonzalez and uh, Danny Sanchez. I wonder if Phil Greeny and Robert Pickerel says, Hey, Danny Sanchez, yeah, we're not going to listen to planning and zoning and go fuck yourself if you try to tell us to make us get a septic tank. We ain't going to get a septic tank, bitch. Nah, listen, Danny Sanchez... And then they just say that they're going to do all the crimes. And then Danny Sanchez is like, yeah, go ahead. No, that's fine. Because I remember when um, I called him and I said that they were driving, you know, doing this and doing that. He was kind of like justifying that. Well, that's not illegal. It's illegal to harass a person, you piece of shit. I go out there and I say, hey, what the fuck are you doing? You say you're hunting fucking lizards? Get up against the wall. No, what else you got in your car? A bunch of illegal weapons and drugs and shit? Oh, look at this. I got myself a good bust. Why? Because I'm a good cop. I'm a good person. So that means I would be a good police officer. I don't go around fucking people. I don't fuck people over. I don't fuck people over. I don't rob. I don't rape. I don't steal. And I reassure the shit out of you motherfuckers that Jordan Peterson says that I should be the monster. I reassure you because I want to be reassured. You're not going to rape my kids. You're not going to rob my kids. You're not going to arson. No, my kids are going to walk outside and Phil Greeny's going to drop. No, I don't want Phil Greeny to do that. I don't want Phil Greeny to drive around my kids whenever they want to walk their dogs out in the middle of the street. Nah, Danny Sanchez, I don't give a shit how many times he's confronted your dumb ass and fucking made you feel like a little tiny piece of shit. These criminal motherfuckers out here, they say, well, if he would have done that to me, I would have just gone over to his house and beat him up. No, you wouldn't, motherfucker. No, you wouldn't. You would do that to a nice person who's lawful. That's what you would do. So, 200 times these little Xanus and the Sodomites. He drove fucking super fucking slow down here on County Road 9 where it's illegal and you're not allowed to fucking do. 
And uh, is that a cop? Is that a fucking little Xanus and the Sodomites? Why the fuck do they feel like it's totally acceptable to do? How come I can't get anybody to fucking hear me? I don't want you all to rape my fucking kids. I want to raise my kid in an abuse-free household, in a crime-free neighborhood, in an abuse, in a civil society. So as long as Michael Gonzalez is trying to fuck me over because Sue's, you know, uh, uh, Soto Cruz had arrested me, well, we got to fuck him over, right? Now he arrested you, so you got to get fucked over. No, you just got to get fucked over. We got to rubber stamp you, and we got he arrested you. We got to fucking do it. I mean, my God, the, the system will collapse. If what? We actually go for truth and justice and start goddamn giving a shit about each other? Start actually stopping the criminal behavior. You know how much harder it is to be good? The karate kid says you got to be good, 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 good. But if someone attacks you, then you defend yourself. You learn how to fight so that way you can defend yourself and your loved ones. But if you're just a piece of shit, well, hell, you would just drive by a person's house 200 times, murder their fucking dog, do drive-bys, do spotlighting. And then if you're a piece of shit cop, well, you don't, well, I don't, that's not crimes. It's not crimes to murder fucking people's puppies. That's not crimes to do attempted murders. It's not fucking crimes. Fuck you. You're a lazy piece of shit, and I don't know why you're defending all the criminals out there just because you want to suck Troy Zinn's dick. That has to be it. But you're defending Robert Picker and all these other fucking rat bastard fucks. I don't know who the little Xanus and the Sodomites were. They drove around here all fucking day. They was up there by my fucking house. What y'all conspiring up there to do, huh? Just conveniently up there by my house. Okay, no big fucking deal, but then you're going to creep down this fucking hill. Creep down this fucking hill like like for five years how they raped them kids. That's how long it took for him to come down that fucking hill. And then if I call the cops and say, hey, yeah, they came in, they raped my kids, and I don't have no fucking proof or a name. Well, it looked like it was fucking that guy, that guy, that guy. Can you ask some questions? No, you're a dumb, lazy piece of shit. It just feels like to me, if I had to guess, there's a couple theories. Are they just fucking with me because they want to rob me? I think that was the beginning at first, but then I call the police and then they want to fucking not give a shit. I think Kim Woods and Michael Gonzalez and Danny Sanchez is in there telling Phil Greeny and fucking Robert Pickerel to keep on fucking spotlighting me and fucking raping my kids. And you are raping my kids. You know, I don't have kids, so it's figurative. It's fucking in my imagination. But uh, by not providing me safety and security, they're going to need a father. And their father's going to need to go to work. And then when he goes to work, he's going to have to have his stuff still there. I mean, he risked his life, right, to go in a, and then go there and then came back and it's all fucking gone. Motherfuckers, why would I fucking do that? Why would I do that? Go get a job so you could steal my shit? Colin Romero didn't give a fuck. She took 600 fucking dollars and then was a disrespectful fucking prick to me. I'm the lawful person, you piece of shit. And meanwhile, she left. There's 90. Nobody out there is fucking lawful. Nobody out there got a soil sample, fucking asshole. Colin Romero, why don't you go out there and get everybody's get soil sample? They're illegal motherfuckers. She'll never fucking do that. It's too hard to go after the real fucking criminals. It's easier to fuck the vulnerable people that's lawful. That's what we're going to fucking do. Colleen Romero is goddamn creating the conditions to make sure the right wing sovereign movement. If you're going to fuck over the lawful people, well, you're liberal and lawful and you care about people and you're, you don't want to abuse your kids and you don't like crime and you listen to the laws and you're a good moral person and you, you're respectable and you're decent and you're not going to, well, fuck you. No, fuck you. I live in the middle of nowhere. They're not just driving to work, motherfuckers. They're driving around my house to fuck with me, to menace me. It's a vehicle. It's a deadly fucking weapon. You don't think you can bludgeon somebody with a fucking vehicle? Of course it's felony menacing. But you can't hear it when I say felony menacing. So I'm just going to say they came here to shove green beans up my kid's ass. Because that's what y'all been doing my whole life. My whole life you've been shoving green beans up my ass, my kid's ass. You don't want me to get a bank account. You don't want me to have a house. You don't want me to have a warm house. I'm not going to make sure my, my house is never warm, right? I'm going to get beat up as a kid. I'm going to live in poor fucking areas. I'm never going to get security. I'm the guy that gets fucked over. I don't fuck people over, and I'm just sick and tired of y'all fucking me over. 200 times little Xanus and the sodomites are driving past my house. You're not going to rape my fucking kids, motherfucker. I know your ends are fucking evil. I know they are. I don't care if I can't convince anybody of anything.
They're there to rob, rob me, rape me, arson. Criminals have stolen my marijuana plants in Pueblo. Criminal in Custia County said he stole a guy's marijuana plant. Fucking awesome. I can't get away from you fucking criminals. Can't you raise your own marijuana plants and leave me the fuck alone? I got my laptop stolen in Dayton, Ohio. I trusted the guy. He said he wouldn't leave me out in the cold. I wouldn't do that to you, man, he said. So I let him stay in my hotel room. I'm getting signatures for Nader. I let him stay in my hotel room, but I slept by the door because I didn't fucking trust the guy. Fucking took big ass fucking shit. Didn't flush. Should have seen a lot of fucking red flags. But then after the three days, we got the signatures. They left because I was there with two roommates. And then he said he needed a ride. So it's just me and dude. Just me and dude. He needed a ride to some place. Where are we going? It doesn't fucking matter. He's just trying to get, you know, find some other fucking guy to rob me. But I'm a dumb motherfucker. I'm being nice. I want somebody to be nice to me. I want somebody to be kind to me. God, I gave Robert Pickerell a fucking chance. I let him stay at my fucking house. I let this fucking piece of shit stay at my fucking place too. For three fucking days. You wouldn't do that to me. Motherfucker! Of course you'd do that to me. You just found a nice fucking guy that you want to exploit. So I drove to the first place. Everything about this situation is telling me to get the hell out of here. What's, what am I doing? Why am I sitting out here waiting for him to go talk to the person and come back in? He's looking for a guy to rob me. I didn't know it at the fucking time. But uh, okay, you didn't want to go to that house. Now we want to go to this house. Okay, that didn't work out. And then eventually we just drive down an alley. And he sees some thug looking fucking piece of shit. And then kind of gives him a little, hey, let's fuck this guy over. The thug fucking guy was like, okay, we'll fuck this guy over. And then they started grabbing a bunch of stuff out of my fucking car. Then they started running. I started chasing them. This is Dayton, Ohio. No, yeah, Dayton, Ohio. <sighs> Up 71, right? Hour, two hours. So... He, they both grab a bunch of stuff from my car and actually, you know, one takes a laptop and not the fucking thing or whatever. I, You know, they took my, my thoughts and my ideas and they got like 20 bucks for it. They turned my life upside down and they did it for no fucking reason. I was doing a work. I was doing a job. I was there with Nader. So I was there for something constructive, positive, democracy. So the guy found some fucking guy. They took my stuff. I'm chasing after him, yelling after him. I had fucking mace. And the guy gets all fucking tired. And then eventually I go to spray him with mace. And the fucking thing malfunctions. And he's bigger than me. And so he just fucking walks away. And then the both of them are kind of like laughing at me as they walk away. Because I stopped chasing them. Like, yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Yep, yep. There's two of us. And we ran faster than we grabbed your shit. Huh? I called the cops. You think he give a fuck? He came 15 minutes later, all fucking lax and days of cool. Well, you got your thumb right up your asshole right there. They just fucking ran over there, motherfucker. I'm tired of shit. I shouldn't have fucking called you. I should not have stopped. I should have kept on fucking running after him. And keep on running them and then have the phone in my hand as I'm fucking running after him. He comes all lax and days. Yeah, they're over there, motherfucker. You giving him a 15-minute head start? You're going to go chase him? No, you're just going to fuck with me. He made sure he got all my information, right? He made sure I stopped what I was doing. And then he said, well, you know, it's all good that you're a liberal and all, but you're going to get your shit stolen. And yeah, okay, that was some uh, wisdom for the ages. Thanks there, man. But um, just because I give a shit about people, how come you can't give a shit about? Aren't you here to protect and serve, motherfucker? He just robbed a good fucking person. How about, uh, why didn't you want to chase him? It, the crime just occurred. You fucking come up all lackadaisical. Piece of shit. You think the motherfucker's going to still be here just taking things, just keep on taking things. It just keeps coming back and taking, keep it, just has like a fucking Santa Fe trail back and forth. What the fuck are you thinking, you piece of shit? He took the fucking thing, ran over there. We're never going to see him again unless we fucking go over there and see if he's fucking walking around. You don't even do that, do you? Now nah, you want to fuck with me because you're a piece of shit and you're insecure and you don't know who I am, so you want to fuck me over. I'm not the guy who fucks people over. He didn't read me victim's rights either. None of these cops seem to tell me my rights and freedoms and, hey, I, you know, I am a public servant. Here's all your freedoms. Here's what I'm supposed to do for you. I'm not the guy that fucks people over. If I can't do, I would love to be a positive influence in, you know, your life. If, uh, if I can. Or I don't know. I mean, I, for a long time, I've always wanted to be a positive force in your life. Maybe I'll just leave you alone. I'll just leave you the fuck alone. God damn it. Every time I'm fucking nice to you pricks, you fuck with me. I'm okay with my aloneness. I like me. I love me. I love me. Nathan didn't know I lived here. Why? Because I'm a good neighbor. I'm quiet, 
to myself. The stalkers are around here. I don't like these stalking pieces of shit. Somebody fucking apparently stole some fucking stove from up the... I don't like this shit. Anybody want to stop this shit? I'd love to have a neighborhood. I would love to have a fucking... Uh, just a community where everybody was opposed to crimes, especially the major crimes. They're a neighborhood watch group. Where we keep an eye, eye out for each other. I'm definitely not going to harm or hurt you. I'm a good neighbor. I want to do good for you. If I can't do good for you... I'm not going to sweat it. Definitely won't harm you. I definitely won't hurt you. I definitely won't murder your fucking puppy. Do drive-bys. Do fucking spotlighting. I won't Xanus you. I won't motherfucking Andre Barroge you. No arson. No raping. No robbing. No shooting. No killing. And even though I reassure you of that, you all don't reassure me of none of this. And so what I've come to the conclusion is I have to enforce my own goddamn protection. I got to be my own security. I have to be my own security guard. I have to be my own police officer. And it is a, kind of the choice between two evils. Call the police and then they don't do shit and then start fucking with me and say that I don't have a taillight out. And now I got to fucking pay for a taillight. Why? Because Robert Pickrell is a fucking stalking piece of shit. Phil Greeny can't fucking stop driving around my house. Now I got to fucking do extra shit because I called the police and they didn't want to do anything. We never found my laptop. He stole my laptop. We never found him. The cop didn't even fucking give a shit. He just, well, you're going to get your, it's okay that you're liberal, but you're going to get your stuff stolen. And then I'm going to call a cop and he's going to shove a thumb up his ass. And I called him several times, asked him where they was at on it. Hey, I got the code for you. Here's the number on the code. We scanned it. We couldn't find nothing. Okay. You working on it? You worried about it? No, you don't give a shit. You motherfucker. All that fucking, all that work. So, maybe little Xanus and the sodomites are just driving by my house because they want to rob and rape my children and kittens and puppies. Shove green beans up their asses like what you motherfuckers did when I was growing up. Or maybe Kim Wood told him to do it. Maybe uh, Danny Sanchez says, go ahead. No, drive by his house. And injustice is, anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So, to, for me to think that there, this is a theory, and I'm floating it as a theory, but it, uh, if... Somebody ran over Kim Woods' dog? I'd fucking care. That sucks, Kim. Nobody should kill your fucking dog like a psycho. They murdered your fucking... You didn't do nothing to nobody. They just killed your fucking dog. They're doing drive-bys to you? Oh, because they killed your dog and they want to cover that up, right? Right, right. Yeah. And then you think, God damn, some of the fucking police and the judges might be... That's bullshit, Kim. No, I got your back, Kim. No, I'm not... I wouldn't let people do that to you, Kim. That's what a good person sounds like. What, crimes are happening to you? I don't want crimes to happen. Not in my fucking county. No, I don't want crimes to happen in my county. But Kim Wood made sure she took away my shotgun. Somebody was driving around my fucking house. I fired some warning shots. They arrested me. Because apparently you're allowed to do all the crimes in the world to uh, me and everybody else. But uh, the moment that I, Article 2, Section 13, which is Colorado's Second Amendment... The moment that I actually do Colorado's constitution, you're going to say that I did something wrong. You did something wrong. You're scared of the boogeyman because you're wicked on the inside. So they took my shotgun away and because it's uh, they charged me with a felony crime and they took my shotgun away. They want it to seem like I'm, you know, way bigger or something. No, you took it. That's all I had was a shotgun. That's it. And you took the one, so now I have no fucking weapons. I have no fucking, uh, you know, um, firearms. You, you could turn anything into, I guess, a weapon, but pff, what, what is a, a stick up against a, a gun? It's nothing. And even, some people will say that even if you're convicted of a crime, you still at least get to have a, a firearm for protection. You still at least get to have a, a firearm to protect a home person and property. But they're going to sit there and say, because I've been accused of a felony. And then they picked, they're arresting, they're fucking over Anne Frank. And they're letting the fucking Nazis go on. And why would they let the Nazis go on? I'm not going to hurt anybody. I guarantee you that. But I'm not getting a reassurance. So when I have motherfucker, you know, Robert Picker raping my kids here. It's a fear. He's he's committed crime after crime after crime. I know all the crimes y'all did to me as a kid. 
Yeah, that's a definite. And then you all let them kids get raped for four or five years. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So when he comes in here and he rapes my kids, Michael Gonzalez, so I'll, I'll film it and I'll write it down and I can't put hands on him because he'll fucking lie and I can't fire any warning shots. I just have to sit here and watch him just rape the shit out of my kids. And then when I, you know, fill out a complaint and then put it in front of Michael Gonzalez, you know, a month later, then he'll just shrug his shoulders and say, oh, that didn't happen. Get that off my desk, right, you piece of shit. But if I'm a cop and I, I know what I saw and I've arrested the motherfucker, he goes ahead rubber stamps it. But because I'm a good citizen and just, a, I guess, a poor peasant, nobody, is that what the, if you're just a poor peasant, nobody in the San Luis Valley, the Robert Pickerel gets to rape the fucking living fuck out of your kids. I have no reassurance of you all being uh, fucking good people. You all have committed crime after crime after crime. And then, uh, what, a stalker? Oh, I didn't do it. You think you was on my side? When I was being stalked in Costilla County and Conejos County, you think you was on my side? None of you assholes was on my fucking side. So don't even fucking pretend that you're good fucking people and that you stood right here in my fucking yard like a sentinel for a goddamn a year. Okay, you didn't even do it for a minute. You didn't do it for a moment, let alone pretend that you gave me police protection for a fucking year. Now, you didn't do any police work whatsoever. You're lazy piles of shit. So part of me thinks, okay, they just want to rob and rape me. But another part of me thinks maybe Kim Wood says, okay, Phil Greeny, go ahead, drive by his house. No Troy Zinn, no Kenny Capen. No, you can continue to rape him and his fucking life and his fucking... Oksana and Abraham are my firstborn kids. If they want to rape me in fucking jail for three years in Colorado, that's what y'all want to fucking do. That's what Michael Gonzalez is all about. That's what he's always been about, frankly. Yeah, yeah, that's what you guys have always been about. For three years, I've been getting raped, motherfucker. Why? Because I was legal with planning and zoning, and I'm a decent fucking guy. And I vote. That pissed another guy off. I vote. So there's another reason why you guys were fucking pissed off. I'm not the guy that fucks people over. I'm the guy that gets fucked over. You're the bad guys and you always have been and I'm fucking sick of it. You Hector projector motherfuckers. You see a new person come in and you think they're as evil as you are. You put your wickedness on them, you fucking sick fuck. You assume everybody's evil and barbaric because that's you. You're wicked and barbaric, you piece of shit. You're Pontius Pilate. You're not Jesus Christ. You're the fucking Nazis. You're not Anne Frank. You're not Anne Frank. You're not J.C. Dugard. I'm I, I'm the victim, and I don't love to be the victim. I hate being the victim. I want to just be able to, fuck, God damn, just to be able to get a fucking job at motherfucking Pizza Hut and just do the fucking dishes and know that I'll get a paycheck and come back and my house is still in one place. God damn, I wish I could have that place. That's the place I want. That's the place I want. All I had was one shotgun, but they needed to take that away from me. And uh, because I got a felony charge. Well, we got to make sure we protect the complainant. Does the complainant feel like I'm fucking stalking him and running his dog over and doing drive-bys and spotlighting him? Does the complainant really feel like, I mean, what makes sense to me, the reason why I'm doing this whole thing is, what's the most likely thing? I think Kim Wood told Phil Greeny and Troy Zinn and motherfucking these hunting sons of bitches, these fucking Lil Xanis and the Sodomites. They're from Costilla County and they're coming over here pretending by my house is the best, most fertile fucking place to hunt in the world. They're a bunch of lion piles of shit. You got national forest all over the fucking place. And in fact, they go out of the national forest to make sure they fucking fuck with me. So they're not even being lawful. They're pretending to be lawful, but even in the fucking thing that they're pretending to be lawful with, they're still fucking breaking the law. I'm not the guy who fucks people over. I would love to just go get a goddamn job, come back and know that my stuff is here. They're trying to do something to me. I know they're little Xanis and Sodomites because that's who you've always been. I just to pretend that they're what? They got a fucking blueberry pie? Oh yeah, we got a cup of coffee. Fuck your coffee. I don't like coffee, motherfucker. That's, you know, mistake number one. But you driving out in the middle of fucking nowhere, motherfucker. You got guns. You've been driving around my house 200 fucking times, you piece of shit. Oh, I'm scared. I have no idea who the fuck you are. I don't, I don't fucking leave my house for shit. Yeah, you think I'm going to go to get a job so you can take all my stuff? I'm not going to do that. So Kim Wood is going to sit there and let them terrorize the sh felony menace in me for 200 fucking times. This is a theory. Because why else would they do it over and over again? Why else would the cops not give a fuck? Why else would the judges not give a shit? Why would Michael Gonzalez say, get that off my desk? Why is Michael Gonzalez trying to fuck me over for the last year? 
I don't go around fucking people over. I'm not the fucking criminal. You guys are the criminal piles of shit. And then what? Because I fired a couple of shotgun shots, you're going to send me in jail to get raped for three years, and then that's going to fix me up, right? That's going to fix me up right, right and good. Once I've gotten raped for three fucking years, that'll what? Then I'll be able to get a business? Motherfucker, I'm the one that wanted a civil society. I'm the one that's for democracy. I'm the one that's... Goddamn. I'm the one that reassures you that I'm not going to hurt you. And you're the assholes that can't reassure me of that. I got a stalker. Amanda had to fucking quit her job because she had a stalker. How come y'all didn't give a shit? That woman in goddamn Pueblo, she got fucking shot and killed. She had a stalker. She went through the system. She got a fucking restraining order. So you raped my kids. I took the pictures. I put the file in front of Michael Gonzalez. No wonder those kids got raped for four or five years. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, because I called the cops and guess what? Robert Pickerel still wasn't, he wasn't there when you all got here. So you guys are the super smart motherfuckers. You're the dumbest motherfuckers on the fucking planet, you stupid motherfuckers. What the fuck do you think is going on? You're a psychology expert. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah, yeah, just like that guy said in the fucking, he's crazy. Are you a psychology expert, motherfucker? Because uh, you acted like you was going to drive in my fucking yard, motherfucker. You know what's crazy? That you think you get a fuck with me, and then if I defend myself, then all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. I did Article 2, Section 13. I bared arms in defense of home, person, and property. And I shot warning shots straight up into the air. You guys are driving by my fucking house. I hear the bullets fucking whizzing. But little did you know that the sound of gunfire is my favorite song. And you want to fuck with me? I'll be your huckleberry. But I'm not the guy that fucks people over. I'm the guy who gets fucked over. And I'm sick of it. I trusted you. I believed you. You just needed to stay, you know? This is, um... <sighs> Robert Pickerel, he stayed over at my house for three days. He said he told somebody at the dollar store something, and then he started getting stalked, and people was over there by the bridge stalking him, and he thought that there was a... The Antonito dollar store lady, he, he cussed or something in front of her. And then people were waiting for him at the Labatter Bridge. He said planes were dropping drugs in the middle of nowhere. He said the motorcycles were coming out of the mountains and the fucking drones were talking to him. I think he also worships the devil too. And I like Philip Garrido, I think what Robert Pickerel has done is since he's a piece of shit and, uh, and he doesn't go around, you know, being a tough guy, but the way that he gets power over you is that he pretends to be crazy. So that way you'll respect his fucking evil, crazy side. He pretends there's crazy things in the air to make you think he's crazy, and then that gets you to back up. That's the only way he knows how to get power. He knows full damn well what he's doing. Like Philip Garrido, Robert Pickrell knows exactly what the fuck he is doing. He knows he's a lion piece of he's he knows he's a fucking lion bullshitting piece of shit. And why? You want to come over here and shove green beans up my kids' asses, motherfucker? Because you're a criminal fuck? He committed a bunch of crimes against me. I don't want to wait to find out what Robert Pickerel has in store for me. I don't want to find out. I don't want to know. Costilla County has picked Robert Pickerel 100%. They back him up with every crime that he's ever fucking committed. Ever fucking committed. Ever fucking committed. There's no place... Costilla County is not a place to raise a working class family. You have to be a criminal to live over in Costilla County. You have to be a Nazi. You have to be Bloods or Crips. You have to be Cineola or Three Kings. You have to be a criminal or a cop. You have to be a criminal. If you're a good lawful person who obeys planning and zoning, they won't put up with it. Colleen Romero will steal from you. Soto Cruz will fuck you over. Kim Woods will fuck you over. And so because... I saw Troy Zinn murder my puppy and they want to fucking protect their felon buddies. They're going to ignore crime after crime after crime. Why? Because they want to suck goddamn Troy Zinn's dick. He must be the greatest, must be the best tasting dick ever, motherfuckers. They give you $20,000 to seed your businesses. Is that what he is? He provides, he's like Abraham Lincoln, right? Just a great fucking man. I know it hurts, you know, nobody wants to hear another person gripe, but when you fuck me over, Kathy... Twisted my arm and my Lucy told me to apologize to her. So you think you get to fuck me over and put your hands on my body. And then when I say don't do that, then you make me apologize to the piece of shit that just fucking did it. 
And since I've had my shotgun taken away for some, you know, criminal order, I'm accused of felony menacing. So I can understand somewhat the logic behind it. But how do these motherfuckers, and I think they're driving by because they want to hear me fire some pistol or some rifle of which I don't have. I'm not a right-wing sovereign piece of shit. I don't have a stockpile of a bunch of fucking weapons. I just believe in rights and freedoms, and I'm sick of you assholes uh, being against me ever since I, I've made straight A's. Is that what you hated? What, I was a good altar boy. No, I'm a, I was a good Christian, so I wasn't going to... You don't like that I'm a good Christian. You didn't like that I was a good altar boy. You didn't like that I was a good, dutiful son. You didn't like that I was a good student. I made straight A's. All I said, uh, entrepreneur, I asked you if you knew that word, and you were so insecure, and you got mad at me because I asked you if you knew something. Machiavelli says, a man's going to hate you whether you do something terrible or a little thing. They're just going to hate you the same. So if you're going to... Make a person hate you. Make sure you, you make it worthwhile. Because they're going to hate you all the same for that little fucking thing that you did. Well, he looked at me wrong. What? Entrepreneur? Yeah, I know what entrepreneur is. God, I hate you. I'm going to let him hit you ever and ever again. And I'll never talk to you. Never gave two shits. That's, yeah, goddamn. So... And then, I mean, think about public education. You would you'd see fights and both people get suspended. Somebody hit me and he only got a detention. But if I would have hit him back, we would, both would have got suspended. But that actually was one time I got a little bit of justice. A million fucking crimes happened to me as a child and nobody gave a fuck. Just like nobody's giving a fuck right now. So I think that uh, Soto Cruz and Kim Wood are fucking covering up Troy Zinn's fucking felonies and uh, act like he's a fucking you know, old golly gee shucks fucking good guy. I don't think they, they can't arrest him in a million years. They couldn't convict him. Kim Wood can never convict him. Kim Wood can never take Troy Zinn's fucking guns. Not in a million years. They don't give a shit about the bloody murder of my sweet little puppy, Tecumseh, who never did anything to anybody in the entire world whatsoever. I don't raise my dog to be pieces of shit. I'm not pieces of shit like you motherfuckers. I treat my dogs right because when you assholes come around, they'll know the difference between being treated right and being treated wrong. But it just makes no sense. Why, why is everybody okay that I keep on getting fucking... Felony menace and drive-bys and all this dumb shit. Why are we going to fucking ignore that this shit is happening? Why are we going to ignore it? Pretend that Phil Greeny isn't driving out of his house the, every fucking moment I walk outside. Phil Greeny's right there. Oh, you don't want me to build my fucking fence? Oh, you don't want my kid to ride my bike? Oh, you don't want my kid to fucking go for a nice little walk? Why don't you want my kids to walk around the neighborhood, Phil Greeny? Phil Greeny's the type of person that would steal a person's fucking street sign. And then put it over by his house. Because he knows that you cop pieces of shit and you judge pieces of shit won't do fucking shit to him. I need to live in a world where you guys don't tolerate this criminal activity. This is fucking sick. This is fucking bullshit. You know what I'm not doing? When Phil Greeny walks outside, I don't drive around his house. I don't drive around his kids. I don't act like I'm going to fucking do some shit to him. Y'all keep terrorizing me and then pretending it's not happening. He's doing it. It's happening. And uh, you didn't stand outside my house and see if it was happening. Like my fucking abusers, you didn't care. You picked sides is what you did. You don't care if Kathy hit my body. You're not a good person. You didn't pick right over wrong. You picked the person over another person. I like her better than you. I don't know you. I know this person. No, you apologize to her. She hurt you. I don't give a shit. I got fired for that shit. I like that guy, not him. Motherfucker, he... He attacked me. He just got mad at me because he doesn't understand. <sighs> Anyways. And I'm supposed to just smile and act like it's all okay. And if I get mad about it, just don't let, just don't get mad. <laughs> what do you mean? Just don't get mad. They're driving by my house to harass me day in and day out. And I bet you if you're a good cop and just ask a couple good tough questions, you'd find it out. You'd find it out. And that's why I have to do a jury trial. I got to fucking get all these assholes in the... I want to... Kim Wood, I want you to come to the jury trial. Because I want you to ask some, answer some questions. Why the fuck don't you give a fuck about the crimes that happened in your neighborhood? Why don't you care about the felony menacing? Why don't you care about the drive-bys and the fucking... And why... Goddamn, those kids got raped for five years. Were you friends? Were you friends with goddamn Xanis? I bet you she was. Fucking best friends with that motherfucker.
Never saw nothing. Never knew nothing, huh? Never saw any fucking... Okay. But meanwhile, Mr. Fucking Good and Polite Planning and Zoning Respecting Guy over here. God damn. Yeah, you have to be a criminal. If you're going to move to Costilla County, make sure you're a fucking criminal. Only criminals are allowed over there. No lawful people, no working class family. Sally Farmer, stay out of Costilla County. I'm giving. I'm just giving you a heads up. Sally Farmer, don't go to Costilla County. They will rape you for four years straight and then uh, tell you to smile and act like it's all okay. Just like J.C. Dugard. Keep on acting like they're not fucking with you. And then at the end, when the cops all come and say, oh, why don't you get a lawyer? Then they tell you what was going on. Just can't stand motherfuckers. If people ain't abusing you, then they're fucking lying to you. And then I got a fucking stalker on the internet. And apparently he's stalking me day in and day out. So he's a Xanus. He can't stop himself. He can't stop himself from committing crimes. He's, you know, probably the same person driving by my house. But let's just put them two different. You got a online little Xanus and you got a drive-by little Xanus. He says a bunch of shit. He's fucking with real people's lives. I'm trying to say thou should not murder, but he keeps on getting on him and acting like he's one of the family members or some shit. He's fucking with real fucking people's lives. And then he also keeps on pretending to be a 14-year-old boy as if I don't want a beautiful black woman to be my wife, as if I don't want a black baseball team, as if I'm not fighting to make sure I raise my black baseball team in a abuse-free household in a crime-free neighborhood in a civil society. But they're Hector projectors. So little Xanus is saying that he's into fucking 14-year-olds. The internet little Xanus. That motherfucker's into 14-year-olds and then he just, every day, just keeps on fucking with me, fucking with me like a little Xanus. Like not like the way you would drive down. Yep. Like the way that little Xanus fucked them kids for four to five years straight. That's how he drives down the fucking thing. That's how he fucking messages me. It creeps me right the fuck out. I know it's happening. It's not just suspicious. It's fucking straight up criminal. And it's bullshit. That I have nobody to fucking... I can't... I have nobody to even talk to. I don't have anybody to talk to. Because if I tell you and you say it's not happening... Well, I don't need that. I'd do whatever it takes to prove it to you. But you don't want to give a shit. At the end of the day, my abuser says it doesn't matter what the fuck was being shoved up my ass. She never would have spoke up against Barbara and her crimes against me. She never would have done it. Why? Because we picked the person over the other person. We don't care about right. We don't care about just and what's good. Nope. We're going to pick the people. Now, I've seen that person do a bunch of crimes. I'm scared of that person. I'm not scared of you. So I'd rather fuck you over. Yeah, I'm scared of that person. That criminal? But you're here to stop criminals, motherfucker. You want more people like me. Yeah, probably if we thought about it, if we took a step back and looked at the big picture, we do. God damn, we want more lawful people who come in here, respect the laws, read the laws. And you just want to get a job and, and be a positive. Yeah, and make a positive contribution to not just uh, your household, but to the neighborhood and to the county. Fucking A, god damn. Somebody that gives a shit? Oh my god. But while I give a per you know shit about the motherfucker that's going to rob me, I've never been able to find anybody that gave a shit. About me. I gave Robert Pickerel three days. You think he ever gave me three days? No. And when Robert Pickerel was staying over my house, you think he was being fucking legit? No. Motherfucker. We, we. Didn't even want to fucking sit down and have fucking hot dogs. Jumping over here, running over there, doing this, doing that. Hearing drones talk to him. He's got a fucking crossbow. He's got a fucking rifle. What you got that rifle for, fucking convict? And what's he a convict for? Anti-planning and zoning piece of shit. He fucking lied to me, but because I'm a nice guy and I just so much want somebody to give a fuck about me that maybe if I care about this one, maybe he'll be so overwhelmed because I would be overwhelmed and he'll be my best fucking friend forever. Nope. No, he just wanted to fuck me over. Yay. Yay. So when I go to Idaho, you're going to stick with Robert Pickerel. You're going to have your criminal fucking piece of shit right next door. That's what you want. But then when Brianna Taylor got killed, I said there was crimes happening in Louisville. She got shot in the middle of the night. You guys are picking the side of the criminals and um, 
I wish you would have fucking gave a shit. God damn. If not about me, what about your neighborhood? You got criminals in your fucking neighborhood. 